The BDR Waste Treatment Facility, which opened in 2015, was designed and built to process 250,000 tonnes of residual household waste a year from the 345,000 homes across Barnsley, Doncaster and Rotherham. Residual waste is the general household waste that is left over after we have all recycled and composted at home. It is mainly made up of things we can't recycle at the curbside. The facility takes all of the general waste collected at the curbside from the household waste recycling centres and a small amount from businesses and organisations like schools. At Renewi, we recycle at least 10.5% of this waste, but the facility is not here to replace curbside recycling. The technology combination that we use at the BDR Waste Treatment Facility is completely unique in the UK. The waste is delivered to site in bin lorries, straight from collection in articulated lorries from transfer stations and in skips from the household waste recycling centres. A transfer station is a site used to bulk up waste from several refuse collection vehicles or bin lorries into a single articulated lorry. This means fewer vehicles on the road, less transport emissions and bin lorries can be back out collecting from homes more quickly. All vehicles are weighed when they arrive at site and again as they leave this tells us how much waste has been brought to the facility and by whom. The waste is emptied into the reception pit of the Mechanical Biological Treatment Plant, or MBT. It's called an MBT because waste is treated both mechanically and biologically. The waste is then dropped into the shredder by a crane. It is shredded to around 30 centimetres, 12 inches. Making the waste more uniform in size makes it easier to process and sort as well as making sure it fits on our conveyor belts. Cranes move the shredded waste into the bio-drying halls where it is sprayed with pesticides to reduce the number of flies and maggots as much as possible. Waste sits in the bio-drying halls for around two weeks while warm air is pulled through it to dry it out and organic material like food, garden waste and nappies start to break down. This is the biological part of the mechanical biological treatment. The waste reduces in weight by around 30% as the liquid is pulled out of the waste. This liquid is then used later on in the process and the air used is passed through a biofilter to reduce any odour. Once dried, the waste is moved onto a conveyor belt to the refinement section where the mechanical treatment happens. Waste is fed into a trommel a giant rotating drum sieve that looks similar to the inside of a washing machine but much bigger. Any pieces of waste that are bigger than 3 cm pass through the centre of the trommel. Pieces smaller than 3 cm fall through the holes onto a conveyor belt. The bigger pieces then go through an optical sorter or magic eye. This uses near-infrared to identify items made from particular types of plastic. The waste runs along a conveyor. The sorter shines an infrared beam onto it and detects the type of plastic an item is made from. If it is made from one of the plastics targeted for recycling, the machine waits for it to reach the end of the conveyor and fires a jet of air under it to separate it from the rest of the waste. Next, a magnet is used to separate out any ferrous metals for recycling like steel or iron. Then an eddy current is used this creates a field that pushes non-ferrous metal away from the other waste, separating metals like aluminium for recycling. The remaining material is sent to the compactors. The smaller material from the trommel has ferrous metal removed using magnets. The remaining material is put onto a vibrating screen. This is a large flat sieve that shakes. The municipal solid waste fines, which are made up of organic material like food and are less than one centimetre in size, fall through the holes and the larger material passes over the top. The smaller material is then fed into a zigzag screen, where it falls through air being blown towards it. Any glass and stone drops to the bottom and is separated for recycling. The organic or fine material that was stuck to it is separated by the air. This is the municipal solid waste fines. The larger material goes through a density drum separator, which splits the heavy glass and stone from the lighter material. The light material from the density drum separator is sent to the compactor. All of the material in the compactor is classed as recovered fuel. 
24 tonnes at a time is loaded into articulated lorries and taken to a multi-fuel electricity generation facility in West Yorkshire, where it is used to create low-carbon electricity. The plastics, ferrous metals, non-ferrous metals and glass and stone that have been separated are each sent to specialist recycling companies for further processing. The municipal solid waste fines and the liquid extracted during drying are taken from the MBT to the dry anaerobic digestion facility on the same site. Here they are mixed with oversized wood from garden waste recycling. This gives the mixture some structure and lets air pass through it. At this point oxygen is present in the mix. It is aerobic. Once it is blended together the mixture is loaded into one of the eight fermenters. A concrete plinth is put in place to stop the material pressing against the door. The door is sealed and the fermenter is heated. The material is in the fermenter for 28 days. In that time, the oxygen is used up by microorganisms that produce carbon dioxide. The inside of the fermenter is deprived of oxygen and becomes anaerobic. This is where the name of the treatment process comes from. When there is no oxygen left, aerobic bacteria die and anaerobic bacteria multiply and produce methane. The gas inside the fermenter is a blend of carbon dioxide and methane known as biogas. This biogas is used to power a half a megawatt combined heat and power unit to make heat and electricity. The heat is used in the AD and the electricity on site. This provides over a third of the whole site electricity use. When the material is removed from the fermenter, the batch is split in two. Half is mixed with new material to seed the next batch. The other half is put on the aerated static pile where air is forced up through the material to remove ammonia and make the material aerobic again. Next, the material is put through a screen. This acts like a sieve and removes about 75% of the wood chip, which is taken back to the start of the process to be used again. The remaining material is loaded into the pasteurization tunnels where it is heated. It must reach over 70 degrees Celsius in at least 10 locations for at least an hour so that we can be sure that E. coli and Salmonella have been killed. This is then classified as compost-like output that can be used in land reclamation and remediation of brownfield sites. It cannot be used on greenfield, agricultural or arable land because it has been made from general waste. After the recyclable materials are separated out, each material goes to a specialist recycler for further processing. Plastics go for recycling in the UK, where they are used to make things like wheelie bins, plastic lumber, guttering and in fuels. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals are recycled in the UK, often in Yorkshire. Glass, aggregate, porcelain and stone is sent to a local company for use in things like road building. Solid recovered fuel produced on site is used in West Yorkshire to make electricity in a multi-fuel power plant. They process around 4,600 tonnes of pre-treated waste a day and use this to make enough green energy to power around 160,000 homes. Compost-like output goes to local land reclamation and remediation projects like pit resurfacing works in Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire. Less than 3.5% of the waste received on site is sent to landfill. This is mainly made up of dust and things that can't be processed through the facility because of the blockages and damage they cause to equipment, such as carpet, mattresses and furniture. The BDR Waste Treatment Facility saves over 150,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent a year compared to sending this waste to landfill. That is roughly the same as taking 23,500 cars off the road. It generates heat, gas and electricity from non-fossil fuels and uses these on site and has created over 60 full-time jobs. Thank you for watching this animation of the BDR Waste Treatment Facility. If you would like to know more about the work we do, you can find this online at bdronline.co.uk or to find out how you can reduce waste, help the environment and even save some money, you can visit us online at wasteless-sy.co.uk or find us on social media by searching for Wasteless South Yorkshire.